Good afternoon gamers, this is Kubear TV, and we get off to a fantastic split there. This is your second cast of your StarCraft 2 games. This is your host, Kubear, and I will be playing a TVP, and Daddy Puff will be my opponent. So I thought this be my second game, I would let you guys know a lot about, my, about myself, because, well, nothing happens in this game early on. Um, I'm not uploading this because something cool happens later on. So what I'll do is I'll speed it up while I'm telling you, just so we can get to the good stuff. So yeah, how about myself? I started playing StarCraft about six months ago after watching one of the biggest casters out there, HD. I'd watched some of him do some of the pro gamers and it was just, it looked like it would be great fun. So I got hold of the game. And like every other noob out there when I was doing it online, I was getting owned in the bronze league. I was rubbish, I didn't know what I was doing. So I started watching other YouTube videos, came across the guys at Lag TV, and they talked about the cheese that I was getting done a lot in the bronze leagues um, and helped me out there. And then I found a guy called Halby. Um, Starcraft and he's a Masters League Terran player and he does a lot of cool builds and he talks a lot about the game and he talks a lot about the balances and everything and what's strong and everything in the game and if you're Terran what you should be doing if the Protoss is doing such and such or the Zerg. So I started to try and copy his builds but I believe this was probably before I'd started doing that. Um, uh, I do know that because I saw his Forge Fast Expand I am throwing down an expansion. But anyway, yeah, so I started getting into StarCraft. I'm, uh, I'm not very good. My macro and my micro still sucks. You'll notice that I'm left-handed. That's right, I'm a left-hander, so I use my mouse in my left hand. Um, I have a horrible, horrible problem of not macroing my... Uh, hockey, my army as well. Um, uh, or when I'm with my army, I'll have it selected, but it'll have the raven selected, and I'll try and do stim, and it'll be, no, you're dropping a turret, and I'll be like, oh, no, no, I don't know what to do, and I can't cancel it. So my macro sucks a little bit. But um, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit, basically, about the game now. So here we go, you can see that I've got some barracks coming down. Um, uh, I do think, I do remember that I was going to do a blue flame hellion drop. At 10 minutes so you can definitely see this is the bronze league I'm also throwing up some ghost academies to put some ghosts into the game so I want to try some nukes so I'm scanning so I can see he's got his nexus down now I'm continuing with my supply depots and um, yeah, I've got my production of SUVs you should be always keeping up an SUV production it's one thing that I'm notoriously crap at is I can never keep up with SUV production so I'm going to do my blue flame drop, oh and then I see void rays and there's a lot of void rays. So I know what my opponent's doing, he's going for a void ray push. Um, as you see, 13 minute mark, our macro is at top form here, no one has done anything. So very early on and I'm throwing down just an absolute ton of barracks for some reason. Don't know why I'm doing that. So as you can see, bronze league, don't know what I'm doing. So back to this, so here goes my blue flame hellions, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I have no idea what I was doing in this game. Oh, I'm going for the mega up, mega ups now, so I'm putting my upgrades up. I've got a ton of barracks, so I believe the next, the first engagement is going to be coming up soon, so we might slow down. I've got an SUV sitting there. Oh, there's another barracks, just for the sake of it. I'm dropping down there. Oh, so I've put down an expansion. Um, I think he's brought a zealot into the base. He brought a zealot in? No, it's just a probe. So he's just brought a probe in. I'm now throwing down the missile turrets because I know he's got void rays, so I'm just going to scatter them around in random positions for no help whatsoever. I've got a ton of medivacs out there, so I pick up my ghosts because I've got two ghosts stuck there. As you can see, the building placement perfect, so it keeps all my units nice and tight and gets the stuck on. So I'm going to do a drop here. So just as I decide to do a drop, he comes and attacks with these void rays and takes out my missile turret, and I'm like, eh? They're all cloaked. So I decide to drop my army all the way behind all the barracks. So completely useless. Um, as Voidries are now going to town on my barracks. So I'm in all kinds of panic here, as I remember. I'm all over the place. So I try and click. Oh no, can't go through there. So all my medivacs go straight into the Voidries. Fully charged Voidries. Open up fire. So now my army's here. So now they open fire. The funny thing is, is he's not got them cloaked. His mothership hasn't got them cloaked. So my marines are tearing through them. Though I am panicking like something else, I've given completely up as you can see, no movement from the caramel, there we go, just A click, a GG because I think I'm completely out of it and the game's over. Um, and then I destroy his mothership, and I realise, oh wait a minute, I still have a chance, and I take down the last void rate. So, I'm still in the game. So I uh, didn't GG there out of sarcasm, I GG'd out there because I was in all kinds of panic and didn't know what, what, what was going on. So what am I going to do here is I'm going to bring all my units into a nice little bundle. As you can see, I have thrown in a third expansion there, and now I'm just going to rebuild my barracks. As you can see, my minerals are at sky-high levels, Th almost 4,000, we're hitting the half a K mark soon. 
I'm going to throw down another barracks. We just chuck them in random places. Here we go, a couple more barracks. Um, uh, he's now continuing on with his void rate and he's building another mothership. So I'm getting ready to hopefully move out here. So old Ewe Probe comes in to have a look. As you can see the macro in this game is at top farm. So I'm going to speed it along again. Just keep us up because the next engagement's coming along so nothing really happens now. So I'm going to try and do a blue flame drop at 19 minutes. That just shows you how awesome my knowledge of the game is at this point. I'm doing a blue flame drop at 19 minutes against Protoss. I am upgrading so, you know, there's something. I'm putting down a planetary fortress. I've got all my barracks replaced just because, well... You can never do without enough barracks, that's what I can say. The good thing is I did put those, hopefully, SUVs back to work. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Oversaturation on that one mineral patch. I think I've probably got about 20 SUVs all sitting there. So here comes the blue flame drop. I've got my little marines out there. So they're going to push in as well. I'm trying to bait his army here. The problem is I do the drop before I actually try and bait his army, and I drop my blue flames into his void rays. I know he's building void rays, but... I'm going to do a blue flame drop right into them. So that was just the best skill you can expect. So there we go, my nuke take out two cannons. I'm trying to bait his army, I'm still, I, I, I'm really wanting to nuke somebody's army in this one. So I'm trying to bait his army, I'm trying to bait his army. So I drop down the nuke on the ramp, hoping that his army's going to come down the ramp. I'm not going to cloak that ghost just for safety reasons. Cloak that ghost, cloak him, yeah, there we go, cloak, he's now, he's now safe. Where's his army, is his army coming? Where's his army, and there comes a new can there, all oh, goes his void rays, all oh, his void rays are dead! So now we just take out the mothership, and that's pretty much the game over, guys. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that, you can, uh, all the void rays was quite good. And this is a problem I also have, when I'm also controlling my army, I am completely useless at doing anything back at home. My minerals are now just going to skyrocket again. Um, uh, he says he was unlucky. I suppose you could say he was unlucky, but then he should have his hearing on, and he should hear the, the sound that there's been a nuke being dropped, and he should be scouting out, and if there's a nuke being dropped, and it's, you can't see the red dot, you shouldn't be moving your army somewhere where it's possibly going to be. So, I say he's unlucky. I think that the first battle went badly for him. Um, I'm not having his void rays cloaked. If his void rays had been cloaked, that could have went totally different. Um, uh, He's saying that I've never been so unlucky like that now. So I'm just going to speed it up because I've cleaned up his base. He brings out a couple more void rays. Just destroying them. This is no GG but pure luck. So he's saying it was pure luck from my half. I'm like, yeah, you should have won. No, I'm not sure. You guys can maybe comment if you want to. Um, uh, I don't know how I won. I GG'd as well as I'm saying. So I've got another massive army building up back there. As you can see, I've got no hotkeying skills. Oh, I've got my Ghost Academy's hotkeyed, I believe. A couple of SUVs maybe hotkeyed. I find his other base. And he leaves the game with no GG. I think um, we had a chat after it and he said GG after it, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway guys, that's my second cast in StarCraft 2. I'm going to upload a third one which will be a special one again. Um, uh, this is Kubert TV, signing out.